Hello, collectives, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions, okay? So what I like to do is something a bit differently from what you've been seeing me post here on the on my channel. I like to focus exclusively, exclusively this time with a reading um, on... Gemini teens, okay, and the age is from 13 to 19, and basically I'm going to focus on what's the outlook in terms of what to expect, because I know that many of you, including you parents, you are eager and you're happy that your child is returning back to school this year, but you have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, that your teenage son and or daughter is beginning to make crucial decisions and also discovering new things such as various schools, jobs, relationships, and friends. But amid everything new transpiring in your child's life, wouldn't it really be very amazing to kind of see how it all turns out here? So what I like to do, I like to just discuss three areas. I like to focus on um, your Gemini teen's current situation. I like to then move on to discuss or address what might be hidden for this school year term and what advice and outcome might be worthwhile given as well as what is the probable outcome. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, rest assured that this reading may not and will not resonate for each and every one of you out here. But for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope it offers you the information that you're seeking. Now, this reading is really geared towards you parents. However, I'm going to speak it as if I'm speaking towards the teenager here. And, of course, for those of if any of you teenagers are um, is watching you certainly will be able to flow with how I'm going to um, be doing your reading here, okay? And this is not only an advice reading, but it is somewhat predictive, okay? So I'm going to go on and just use my Tarot for Kids cards here to illustrate your reading. And I'm going to shuffle up and ask Spirit one simple question. What can... Gemini teens expect. Okay, let's see. All right, let's start off by just first examining, ladies and gentlemen, the card that um, fell to the bottom of the deck here. Okay, let me just pull it off. I'm only going to pull one here. Wow, you have a rather troubling card here. You have the Seven of Swords. Okay. So, with having the Seven of Swords there, the moon is in Aquarius, and this card brings about a lot of betrayal, a lot of uncertainty, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of one-upmanship, Gemini teens, as well as quarreling, okay? So, it seems that doubt and half-learning might be a factor that seems to be going on here. And I feel that your teen or you, Gemini teen, you it seems that you might be hiding this factor from others that you just don't have that as much interest in perhaps in a subject matter that perhaps you're professing that you do and you really don't, okay? And I feel that you're hiding this from your parents. Alternatively, I, I feel that Someone may even try to steal something or steal your thoughts and use them as his or her own too during this school term, okay? Because you're looking at this symbolism here on the card. The symbolism here certainly shows here, okay? It shows someone who has left something and not sure about his decision. So I feel that many of you are going to be struggling quite a bit this year, you know? 
I feel that you're going to be leaving. It looks like a lot of you, you're going to be leaving behind people or leaving people behind or moving. Okay. And the key is to rest assured that you can make it through this process and you just have to be a bit more um, independent. I'm getting that this is really kind of telling you. Okay. And also, it's also telling you to start learning how to appreciate the things that your parents do for you. Okay. I also get a strong indication that many of you kings, or you're, you're, you're just too overly trusting or you will be this be this particular school term and this card is certainly warning you to stop trusting people so quickly because you are going to be confronted with a challenge and i see a lot of comp competitiveness it seems it may be sports related or it might be just you know within the school itself okay don't expect people to really be fair i'm kind of getting with you this year and again don't trust people and and Learn how to surrender unrealistic expectations, okay? You need to trust your instincts a bit more and be your and be very vigilant. So it looks like the warning here is, or that the hand here is to, you know, really don't be your own worst enemy and understand that cheaters certainly never win here, okay? And don't let people take advantage of you or you might want to consider not doing that to someone else okay because i feel that you the act things that you might do might be a bit self-defeating okay as i said i do feel that some of you may be relocating to a new school too that i'm getting I, i'm kind of getting to that another strong possibility or something like i said something could get stolen from you or or, and, and it's going to make you feel a sense that with all of that's happening, because you're going to feel a sense of unfairness, that you're going to want to run away from the problem. But this card is kind of asking you to be a bit more cautious because someone might be out to, to really sabotage your, uh, I'm, I'm getting your reputation. And it might be due to jealousy here that I'm kind of getting here with this card here. Because again, it's all about one-upmanship. And ladies and gentlemen, at the end of this reading, because th there's a warning here, I'm going to pull out a few letters to kind of help you identify the person around whom you should probably might want to consider being a bit more vigilant here. Okay, and parents, you also can help your child. But Geminis, you might want to guard your tongue, particularly this year in question here. Because someone is up to no good, be it you or someone surrounding you. Which is why I explained to you not to, that it's the key for you not to be your own worst enemy. Okay? But rest assured, something very sneaky and crafty appear to be going on here. And... You're going to be under a lot of pressure to perform this year because I feel that many of you, you seem to be a perfectionist and people, particularly your family, expect the best of you, okay? So try to let go and let God this year and the key is to try to maintain as much balance as you possibly can, okay? And I do feel that despite it, you do have some sneaky friends around you, you do have a few who are supportive. And I feel that you are going to meet a new friend or a friend will kind of come into view who will aid you and maybe help you get back on track from this devious type behavior that I see is quite possible. You know, even including cheating on tests. So make sure that you guys are not doing those things. Okay. And some of you might even need to be crafty yourself to kind of beat this enemy of this person around whom you should be vigilant. Okay? So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go on and just uh, slide on to your reading here. I'm going to select another card, but prior to doing so, I just have a few more thoughts about this card here. I'm just feeling that you know, someone is just very conning, conning, you know, and, and they have a secret agenda, okay? And I feel that the end is going to result in, you know, you feeling shameful or guilty about something. 
So again, if you are kind of putting on an act to kind of please someone, you best stop before your grades start to, to really suffer here. All right. If this is not a subject matter, something you really want to do, you need to speak your mind here. OK. So whatever you do this term, you need to prepare carefully and really jot down a plan of action to avoid you failing in some way. OK. The possibility of success is is here, but you just have to get over the self-sabotaging behaviors. You get it. OK. Let's move right along, ladies and gentlemen, and just select another card here, okay? And it's quite interesting, ladies and gentlemen, that I'm seeing a lot of the same things. And actually, I just did a reading um, for the uh, sign before you guys. And for your current situation, you have the same situation as they. You have that two of coins there, Okay. So when you have that two of coins, it seems that, you know, particularly for your current situation, you're going to be balancing things here, a balancing approach. Some of you may be working or you might be, in fact, you know, working, you're juggling here. You, you're either working and also going to school, too. And this could be very difficult, OK, because with this two of coins here, Jupiter is in Capricorn. And it's all about balancing, you know, coping with all sorts of difficulties. Okay? So, for some of you, you might be feeling a bit unbalanced here. Okay? And I, as I said, I see that many of you are doing several things at once here. To include a part-time job, as I mentioned. Or even, um, you might even be either keeping a child or some of you might even have a child. Okay, and you're struggling to really maintain balance, I'm getting, or you will be doing so, particularly this, uh, this, uh, this school term I'm getting. So this card also tells you that it's time that you embrace change. And with that said, some of you might even be attending a new school, as I said, from the onset, or you may have relocated or you might be in process of doing so to another area okay and i feel this this card is kind of calling for you to be a bit flexible calling for you to be more adaptive to the situation and while it may take some time adjusting okay don't worry i feel that you're going to be okay and this card is just telling you to just try to do your best but just take a more balanced approach because i feel that you know, just as I indicated to you from the onset with all of this sneakiness and deceptiveness that seems to surround you, there appears to be problems with friends or there are going to be problems here because I'm seeing a lot of peer pressure that you guys seem to be facing. Understand that self-control, ladies and gentlemen, it's certainly the key for you guys, you know, in kind of maintaining control of your situation. Okay, so why don't we go on and just move on from here, ladies and gentlemen, and just pull our next card here, and we're going to look at what's hidden here. We have the Four of Swords. Wow, you know, very interesting card here, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, with the Swords, it shows that it's going to be, you guys are going to be having some or experiencing some problems along the way here because we see that you have you have two swords already okay so of course with that for a sword card it connects with with air signs and what this card is kind of suggesting to you guys that it's time for you might be time for you to just withdraw from your situation and when you have the four swords jupiter is in fact in libra okay I feel that some of you might have to kind of take some time off or you may decide to, to cut your attendance short here. You may not go the full year. Some of you may do this perhaps. And I, I get this because perhaps you've just been pushing yourself a bit too much. And some of you just haven't been getting, you know, the rest. 
that you need or that you've really been needing here, okay? And I feel, too, that some of you even might need to recover from an illness or you might even decide to take some type of vacation to cut back on things and to try to help yourself regroup or to even heal, as I said here. And you're going to find family and friends very beneficial and supportive of your needs as well as your feelings, Gemini, okay? I also feel that many of you will want to kind of isolate yourself, particularly during this school term I'm getting with, with people who probably have been problematic so that you can really concentrate more on really what's important, you know? And this is certainly with regards to your schoolwork. But I do feel that the cards are suggesting that because of the need for rest here, try not to take too many new courses I'm getting, okay? Because rest, again, is key, all right? So let's move right along and see what advice or outcome that your cards are showing that it's possible, of course, if you continue on as you are and follow the advice that's given. We have, last but not least, the Empress. Okay, so with the Empress, it connects with Earth signs and Venus governs this card. So I feel that although learning, it looks like it might be a bit slow and confining or somewhat for you guys, I'm getting and you might not really want to stick to a program of study that you're actually on track doing. This card is asking you to kind of stick with your educational pursuits, okay? And wealth, success, as well as abundance, they're going to eventually come to you guys, I'm kind of saying. Okay? I'm also feeling strongly, too, that some of you might even have to... It looks like either care for another person, and this could potentially be, you know, someone in your family, or again, some of you might even also have kids yourself or a child, you know, even though you're a teen, all right? But I feel that a nurturing person also surrounds you as well. So some of you might even be contemplating marriage too as well, I'm kind of strongly getting, and, and really all of its ramifications. And, once again, due to the, the, the nature of this card, some of you might even be pregnant or find, discover that you're pregnant in some way during, during this school term or know someone who is, okay? And some of you might even find your mother to be a smothering type figure I'm getting this year. So, parents, calm it down. <laughs> but you have valid reasons for doing so, okay? Or, you know, your parent might be a bit highly overprotective. And it's for good reasons. Okay? Some of you also might consider something creative at school. Like entering a drama club or just doing something with art I'm getting. Okay? I'm certainly seeing much harmony is going to be uh, established within your home environment. So, try to trust your instincts a bit more. While I see there are some obstacles ahead for you, you're going to definitely achieve success. So have a very good year, um, Gemini's. I do see you passing. I don't see you failing. But if you, gonna, if you pursue sneaky behaviors, it, it will cause problems I'm getting here. Okay? So you're going to be shameful by it. So make sure you're not doing any type of uh, behaviors to sabotage yourself. Okay, so keep in mind if this reading has resonated, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you've yet to subscribe. And so I'm going to go on and just shuffle up my another Oracle deck here, Gemini's, just to give you two final messages. And then I'm going to go on and select those letters to help you identify the person around whom you might want to consider being a bit more vigilant. So, Spirit, what two messages would you like for me to share with Gemini team for this school term? 
Okay, let's see what we have. Wing. Wow, you never needed those wings to fly, Gemini teens, which means you never needed these toxic friends surrounding you in the first place. You never need their help. You've always been smart enough to do whatever it is that you needed. You don't need to follow the crowd. March to your own, to the beat of your own drama. Drama here, which is what this card is suggesting. And spaceship, don't be afraid to sing. Don't be afraid to stand up for yourself and share the ideas that you would like to have, to share with others. Don't be afraid to take a risk, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? So as indicated, I'm going to go on and just select 20 letters from a magical bag of 200 letters to help Gemini team to identify the person or the, the, the friends or the lovers or the teachers, whatever it is, people around whom you should be a bit more vigilant. Do not trust these people, okay? So let's see who this person might be. All right, spirit, please guide me to the correct letters here. And Gemini, unfortunately, if your name comes up within these letters, it means you can't even trust yourself. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. All right, 20 letters here. Let's see what we have. Start with D. N. R. M. I. A. U C I A N S U I and we have a blank tablet here. So that means that, Gemini, you could certainly insert whatever letter that you would like to insert if it would make it a complete name here. So let's see how many letters we have so far. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Spirit, we need six more letters for Gemini. One more. Okay, we have G. E A R another G and we have an E. All right, so let me call these letters back. We have one blank tablet, as I mentioned, that you could use to insert any letter that you would want if it would create a name for you and help you identify the person around whom you should be vigilant. There are three A's, Gemini. There are two E's, two N's, two G's, a C. There are three I's, two U's, two R's, an M, as well as an S. All right? So, Gemini and parents of Gemini teenagers, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought. Be sure to like, and share, subscribe if you've yet to subscribe, and be sure to send me over your comments. I'd like to know how your progress is going this year and whether the reading is resonating. And Gemini, remember, if you don't like what's predicted here, you can certainly change the picture and the energies of these cards. You certainly see that there's someone troublesome around you. You might want to clear that, you know, before you can change your future here. All right. So again, thanks for viewing and I'd look forward to hearing your comments. If you'd like to have a more personalized reading, you can certainly contact me or uh, email me. At the, with the information provided in the description box. Enjoy your day. Thanks a lot.